Uh, today now I'm going to discuss about the 5G registration procedure and call flow. <clears throat> so in this video, I'm going to discuss about uh, uh, some uh, query uh, like uh, why attach process is required, uh, why RAJ, when we need RAJ, how you decide where need to transmit the RAJ, contention based RAJ procedure, contention free RAJ procedure, 5G registration process and call flow. And finally, we'll go for the log analysis for the 5G attach. So first question was the why attach process is required. <clears throat> so why attach process is required? तो इसके लिए जरूरी है कि आप मेरे चैनल पर जुड़े रहें मैं आनंद फॉर्म आनंद टेक्नो सॉल्यूशन ऐसे ही लर्निंग और अर्निंग के सॉल्यूशन वीडियो लाता रहता हूं अगर आपको ये वीडियो आपके लिए हेल्पफुल है तो प्लीज सपोर्ट मी बाय क्लिकिंग लाइक बटन इफ यू हैव एनी क्यूरी सजेशन प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू कमेंट इन कमेंट सेक्शन अगर आप मेरे चैनल पर नए हैं तो चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर लें उसके पास में एक बिल बटन है उसको दबा के ई मेल नोटिफिकेशन पर इन्यूल कर लें सो थैंक यू Mobile want to attach with the LT network or yeah, 5G network, and uh, there is only one uh, reason that is internet connectivity. So question is that who provide the internet? Uh, who provide the internet? If uh, you want to access YouTube video, but this video is available in YouTube data center in USA, how you can access it? How your operator, Jio or Airtel, access this video? Because this. Uh, uh, this data center is available very far from our locations, more than 10,000 kilometers from our location. And in, in, in short, I am going to discuss about uh, these things. And Sachep, I want to tell you that this whole internet is in three parts. Tire 1, Tire 2, Tire 3. This whole world's internet is connected with the optical fiber cable. Now, your question is, where do you use this optical fiber cable? How do you maintain it? So, this whole optical fiber is connected with the samudra tat. वो कंट्री टू कंट्री कनेक्टेड होता है आप इस केबल को देखो इस केबल में पतले पतले बहुत सारे केबल हैं एक पतले केबल की स्पीड 100 जीबीपीएस के अप्रॉक्स है इस केबल को समुद्र के नीचे जो कंपनी बिछाती है उसे कहते हैं टायर वन कंपनी उसमें इंडिया में जो टायर वन कंपनी में टाटा और जियो भी समुद्र के नीचे अपना केबल बिछा कर एशिया अफ्रीका और यूरोप की कंट्री से कनेक्शन बना लिया है इसका स्पीड अराउंड फोर्टी टेरा है एक वेबसाइट है सब मेरीन केबल डॉट कॉम यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हैं दुनिया में कितने केबल बिछा हुआ है और सारे यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हैं दुनिया में कितने केबल बिछा हुआ है और सारे कंट्री का इंटरनेट कनेक्शन इस फाइबर केबल के थ्रू चल रहा है अगर इंडिया में देख लो तो मुंबई कोचिन और चेन्नई इस फाइबर केबल का जंक्शन पॉइंट है इसे यहाँ देख सकते हैं एयरटेल जियो वोडा जितने भी ऑपरेटर हैं ये अपनी में जो फाइबर केबल का जंक्शन पॉइंट है उसे कनेक्टेड होता है यहीं से ये ऑपरेटर होल इंडिया में इंटरनेट प्रोवाइड करते हैं अगर आप जियो ऑपरेटर से इंटरनेट यूज कर रहे हैं और अपने ब्राउजर में यूट्यूब डाटा कॉम ओपन करते हैं तो ये सबसे पहले आपके नियर बाई में जो टावर है वहाँ जाता है उसके बाद फिर मुंबई कोचिंग चेन्नई का ऑप्टिकल फाइबर जंक्शन पॉइंट है वहाँ जाता है उसके बाद यूएस में यूएसए में यूट्यूब के डाटा सेंटर में जाती है फिर आप वीडियो देख पाते हैं इस पूरे प्रोसेस में अराउंड वन सेकेंड वन सेकेंड टू टू सेकेंड लगता है फाइनली इसका मतलब ये हुआ कि एल नेटवर्क या फाइव नेटवर्क इट जस्ट ए मीडिएटर टू प्रोवाइड द इंटरनेट फॉर्म वर्ल्ड वाइड so mobile is required to attach with lte and 5g network to access the internet from worldwide so this is some process uh, there is some process for you uh, there is some process for you to attach the network then can access the internet question why uh, this uh, ratch process is required uh, for the attach the network it is required ue and network should be synchronized to each other if network is telling then ue can listen if u is telling the network can listen so for this synchronization one platform is required right so where and ue and g node b they can listen g node b they can listen to each other so in this case channel is allocated to mobile uh, where network is broadcasting something where u is listening so this is called a downlink synchronization so uh, here in downlink synchronization, if you will talk about the downlink synchronization, there is some method is there, right? Primary synchronization, secondary synchronization, and uh, uh, after that, once synchronization done, then uh, uh, network start to broadcasting and you listen. But what about the uplink? So where uh, for the uplink synchronization, there is some process. So where RATCH is the process for the uplink synchronization? So in RATCH process, Z node will locate the resources for uh, message three. <coughs> So there is a two way. 
two uh, benefit from here why rash is required so of course one is the applying recommendations resolve the applying recommendation issues and second is allocate the resources for the message theory so what uh, if you want to send something if resources want to send to, this two process is required when we need rash so uh, <clears throat> there is a different uh, uh, condition uh, where it meet then ratch process will trigger like initial access from the rrc idle when you is moving for idle to connected mode yeah reestablishment process is happen handover uh, is performed that time ratch process required yeah deal yeah you will data arrival during the rrc connected when applying synchronization status is non synchronized transition from inactive to active mode when it is moving uh, to establish that how you decide when and where need to transfer the rash so what were the questions first question was there was attached process is required why rash when we need to transmit the rash how you decide where need to transmit the rash so like, fourth number questions the fourth so here uh, how you decide where and when need to transmit the rash because initially you doesn't know about that uh, uh, information where uh, you uh, need to be transmit the rash process when uh, need to be transmit the rash process so they just uh, gene would be broadcast some parameters some information in c message system information block message because this c message comes while downing synchronization is done between the ue and gene would be that time gene would be broadcast the same information for the ue if ue want to send something and ue want to do the uplink synchronization when and what we you uh, need to transmit it so there is some important parameter in c1 that is a peer as config index message one frequency a uh, start period schedule sequence zero uh, start zero correlation zone flag request set config preamble initial receive target power power ramping step ra preamble index preamble trans max ra quotation start index number of ra preamble ra response window size message there is sub carrier spacing so these all uh, parameter have the different value and different meaning so if you are talking about the prh config index so actually it give the uh, give the location of time domain locations right so exactly when you is supposed to send the rash depending upon the parameter right so in uh, uh, from the prh config index we know about the slot number sfn number subframe number exactly where uh, you need to see in the rash so uh, from the time domain locations will get the information in prh config index after that message one frequency start it give the location about the frequency time domain locations right so the rrc message one frequency start parameter of prh preamble along with fdm so it determine the frequency domain location so once you get time domain and frequency domain location then know that preamble is sending uh, uh, in which position it is sending next is the root sequence index is a logical value uh, actually whatever it's come in the same message exact value that is u it is a physical value uh, if uh, root uh, sequence index value is 22 then physical value is mapped somewhere other value uh, here you can see that physical value is mapped to the one so zero correlation zone config uh, it indicate the index of z of uh, sequence that generate the preamble right so u is seen the preamble so how this preamble generate right so 255 uh, a uh, lot of the preamble format and preamble is there so it generated from this method after that request set config uh, actually this request set config uh, depend on the uh, what type of uh, sib uh, is broadcasting one is on demand another one is periodically if you talk about the lt there is a periodical sib information is there but in 5g there is a on demand uh, on demand that is required you want to move idle to connect at that time you will request then g node will broadcast the same messages uh, ne next is uh, preamble receive target power that means if you is transmitting the preamble then how much power it is sending or open loop power control calculations happened after that it uh, transmit the prh uh, power ramping step how much db is required if suppose that you is retrying to send the rash then how much power it will increase uh, so it define the increase in transmit power between the successive prh preamble transmission maybe 2 db 4 db 6 db like that it will increase if is if you is retrying for the prh uh, next is preamble trans max uh, define the maximum number of preamble which can be used during the specific prh procedure Ma uh, trans maximum how many times can be retried 
अगर ओबामा इट कैन बी ट्राई सो दैट वैल्यू हेयर गेट इट फ्रॉम द प्रियम्बल ट्रांस मैक्स सो नेक्स्ट अबाउट द आर ए कंटेंसन रिजोल्यूशन टाइम देन यू विल स्टार्ट मैक कंटेंसन रिजोल्यूशन टाइम विन इमीडिएट सब फ्रेम आफ्टर ट्रांस मीटिंग मैसेज थ्री सो वंस मैसेज थ्री विल सेंड आर आर सी रिक्वेस्ट विल ट्रिगर फ्रॉम द यू ए आफ्टर दैट दिस कंटेंसन रिजोल्यूशन टाइम विल बी ट्रिगर एंड इट विल वेट टू टिल रिजोल्व ओके नेक्स्ट इज प्रियम्बल स्टार्ट इंडेक्स इट स्पेसिफाई द फर्स्ट पी एच प्रियम्बल एलोकेटेड टू द रिक्वेस्ट ऑन डिमांड इफ यू इज रिक्वेस्टेड फॉर द सेम मैसेज दैन वॉट एवर फर्स्ट पी एच इज प्रियम्बल इज एलोकेटेड दैट इट स्पेसिफाई नेक्स्ट इज आर ए रिस्पॉन्स विंडो साइज सो डिफाइन द नंबर ऑफ स्लॉट दैट यू वेट फॉर द रिसेप्शन ऑफ द मैसेज टू बिफोर सेंडिंग अनदर पी एच प्रियम्बल ओके मैसेज वन इज सेंड देन इट विल वेट फॉर द मैसेज टू राइट रिस्पॉन्स इट विल वेट सो वन रिस्पॉन्स विंडो साइज इज देयर सो इट विल वेट टिल द रिस्पॉन्स विंडो साइज आफ्टर दैट इट विल राइट रिस्पॉन्स इज नॉट रिसीव या ड्यू टू द सम रीजन इट इज नॉट रिस्ट टू द नेटवर्क देन इट विल वेट टिल आर ए रिस्पॉन्स विंडो साइज एंड आफ्टर दैट अगेन इट विल रेट राइ ए परफॉर्म so a uh, message the sub carrier spacing some spacing is allocated how many uh, how much sub carrier spacing is allocated 30 kilo has uh, 15 kilo her so that things uh, allocate here so exactly this is overview of the some parameter which is uh, important parameter for the c messages after that you will decide when you need to transmit the ratch request so here you can see that UE and G node B, G node B is broadcasting system information message. Whatever system information message I have shown, uh, some parameter I have shown, right? Uh, so those parameters, those configuration, G node B is allocated to the UE in C1 messages. After that, this UE decide when need to trigger this ratch on the basis of whatever when need to trigger this ratch. on the basis of whatever it is received in system information messages so after that i will discuss about the contention based ratch procedure how it's happened and how it is resolved so uh, for now thanks i keep bringing such a solution video to learning or earning for this it is necessary that you stay connected to my channel if video is helpful for you please support me by clicking on like button if you have any query suggestion please uh, don't forget to comment in comment section if you are uh, new to my channel then please help me to subscribe it and there is a bell button beside it so please click on bell button and enable the email notification thanks